Hello! And hello, Megane. Welcome in. Does this game have any rooms for the elephant uh, to be in? Well, there's an elephant right here. Is that enough? For you? Now, uh, last time we'd wandered off, but uh, we were on our way to the Makani city of Freehaven, I think it was? But I thought we'd come back to the city and buy some more lore and read that through first. Okay, so this is the story of the Battle of the Sundergarten. So two twin princes um, had created the, yeah, the armies of the anvil and the armies of the fox stood ready to do battle. So here's the next part. Elephant Naga began to run towards the plains of Pali. The battle was to commence. She ran as fast as the wind and the thunder, but she was too late. The battle of the twin generals, the greatest battle in recorded history, had already started. Brother fought brother, kin fought kin, and the devastation was total. The bodies of the fallen piled up into barricades, which the remaining warriors would, would climb and keep fighting. The ground was no longer visible under a layer of corpses. General Kurava and General Pandava met face to face in battle, the Duke of the Anvil against the Lord of Foxes. The two twins were so equal in strength and skill that when Kuvara thrust his lance, so did Pandava, and the generals pierced each other's armor in the same breath. They died together, just as they had been born together. When Elephant Naga arrived at the battlefield, not a single soldier was still standing. The devastation was total, and Naga wept over the massacre. The corpses of the fallen lay strewn across the field like poppy seeds. Naga wandered the plains of Pali for many days. She watched over the dead bodies as they sank down into the damp earth. She chased away crows and scavengers, and she tended to the dead, where tears fell on the soil. It was not until many, many years later that the first corpse sprouted new life. Out of the mass grave grew the first bone white, brought back to life by Naga's blessing. The plains of Pali would continue to sprout the living dead, and as it does to this day, and when henceforth be known as the sacred cemetery, the Sunda Garden. So there we go. Um, why does it not say book one is completed? Is there a missing piece? Hmm. What happens if I come back in? Yeah, it seems like there's still something missing from book one. Okay. Well, we can figure that out at a later date. Now we need to make our way to Freehaven. How's your day been, Megane? Uh, we need to get to the train station, which is this way. Oh, actually, we should, while we're here, we should, uh, change our skin. If we can afford it. Now that we've done the Sunder Garden, we don't need to be a zombie elephant anymore. I guess I'll go with the knitted one. Uh, and then a train station. <laughs> this just in, the sanctity of the Sunder Garden is restored and the Bone Whites have lifted their quarantine. The path through Acon Woods is once more open for travelers. Feel free to tune in any time you want an update or reminder on what's going on right now. Okay, where were we? We were here. Choo-choo! this kind of autumn forest. Okay, we've got... Oh, I see, and there's a wheel there. How did I come in? Was it down there the way forward, or...? No, it can't be. Can it? 
Mamaki. Uh, no, it's not. That's the way we came. Easy to get turned about. Although, this knitted elephant kind of blends into their orange background now. I should have thought about more about where we were going when I picked the skin. Oh well. I'm sure once we get to Freehaven there'll be a... Uh... Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, how did I die? I just walked into the elevator. I'm probably gonna have to redo that. No? Okay, I made it. Oh, two big boys. Whoop. I feel like they want me to use the explosive against them, but this is probably just easier. Actually, why are there explosives here? Another health token. That's two. Anything I can do with these? No, it doesn't look like it. Oops. I can just like knock it off the edge. Oh, no, not quite. Uh, better go back and make sure that that is in the right spot. Hmm. What am I doing? Oh, am I supposed to throw this up there? Boy, boy. Okay, that's how we're supposed to do it. Uh, I'll stand on this platform. Huh? Oh. Okay. Yep. Just that. Okay, this is getting complicated. Oh boy, that's not a good shot. Um... Oh. Okay. Oh good, it respawns. Nice! Nailed it! There we go. Yeah, this is getting complicated for such a... simple little game. Okay. So we want got water. Guess we use this to put this fire out. Why did I do this? I want to start a fire? Yeah, I guess I do. I want to light all these fires. Okay, so... Yeah! You hadn't thought about, um, the fact that the elephant's made of, yeah, oh, it was a double. Okay, so if I throw these explosives over there, oh boy, that's not a great throw. Oh, but it did work. Will that work? Yep, close enough. And then finally... Yes. There we go. How does fire make a chest appear? Who knows? Oh boy, I forgot how to fight for a second there. Oh, 
Okay, that's... What? What the fuck is all this? Oh, he's got a slingshot. Oh, he's... Oh, and he's got... Peanuts. Elephants are supposed to like peanuts, right? Oh, there's a sign up here. What's it say? Freehaven. Semi-sovereign city-state of the Makani. So, semi-sovereign city-state. Oh, Yingrid was here. We still don't know who the hell that Yingrid person is. We've been writing on all the signs we've seen, but... Hmm. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, we get and fill up on peanuts. Hey-ya! I'm trying to shoot down the balloons with my slingshot, but it's really, really difficult, I'm telling you. Why don't you load up your trunks with some peanuts from my bag and see if you can aim better? Man, we're like a goddamn gun with this thing. Why is there this? Oh, it's for the... For the, um, key to land on. Got it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, good. There we go. Uh. God damn it. So this is Free Haven. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry? Why does this area exist if... It's just to try... Okay, whatever. I'm not a game developer. I, I wouldn't understand these things. Yep, so there we are down and We just went through the... I'm assuming we're going to go back to Woolly Mountain at some point because we saw the gate do it. Hey. Wait a minute. Why are there human city guards in the robot city? Welcome to Freehaven. Do not cause any trouble. Hey. 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 Who are you? Welcome to Freehaven, Elephant Yono, sir. This is the city we Makani built for ourselves. It is very good access to the sea, which is great because we need to trade with humans for natural resources such as metal ore. Freehaven is the semi-independent city-state of the Makani, sir. Just like the Sunda Garden, we are under the dominion of the Nightingale Kingdom, but have some limited political power in our own affairs. The first Makani were built by humans. We call them the Proto-Makani. They were used as household machines and service robots, sir. But since the singularity, we Makani have been sophisticated enough to construct more of ourselves. That was the beginning of our liberation. The humans were uncomfortable at first, granting us citizen rights, but by now we are seen as the Queen's subjects, sir, and we have even been granted a plot of land to build a city of our own. The Queen does not feel the same way about you guys as you seem to think of her. She does not. She's ready to go to war with you guys. All the soldiers you see around here are guards sent from... Ah, oh, right, from the Queen of Nightingale. Oh, cause that makes sense. If they're the same country, they'd have the same, like, police force, as it were. She's always worried we Makani are up to something, so she fills our city with human guards. Ah, so you do know that she doesn't trust you. The city of Freehaven is built upon a large factory, the Manufactoria, which we use to create manufactured goods for trade with the humans, as well as for constructing new Makani. Freehaven is also the central hub for the Health Token Exchange Service, as well as the first city that was connected to the Underground Railroad System. Most technological va advances are made in Freehaven, but we want to share our inventions with the whole kingdom. Have you visited the Arcade Halls? God, they have so much to say. Uh, there's a Makani there who can play games. We also have a beautiful beach. Oh my god, it's still going. I'm glad I didn't pick a stupid voice for this one. In Freehaven, we have constructed a system of direct democracy. The Hegemonicon. Yeah, Hegemon Icon. The Hegemonicon. A giant Makani who lives deep down in the Manufactoria factory collects and calculates data from each individual Makani when it's time to have an election on some issue. Wait, a dem direct democracy, though, is... You'd vote on every single thing, wouldn't it? See? Good day, Mr. Elephant. Oh, thank God Rover only has, like, one thing to say. Oh. 
Can I find some peanuts? Or anvils and... Oh, and there's my friends. Oh. Oh, I guess these are all the same thing. Oh, this is the guy we met in the Sunder Garden. Hello again, sir. I have returned from the Sunder Garden after having failed to gain the Bone White's support in the matter of Freehaven's predicament. What exactly is it you want the Bone White's support for? Oh, don't get me started, sir. Uh, I mean, I really don't want to get you started, but... We call the city Freehaven because that's what we wanted it to be. A haven where the mechanic could be free. 286 years later, and that is still not true. We still live under the subjugation of Nightingale City, which has devastating consequences for our way of life. It was the humans who first began to build machines, you know. These, those proto mechani were quite primitive. We have long since surpassed the humans in technological development. But the fact remains that the very beginning of the humans have... The fact remains that from the very beginning, the humans have viewed us as elaborate tools to do their work for them. That is what we used to be. And the path to freedom for the Makani has been long and arduous. Still ongoing, as a matter of fact. Surely you have noticed that Freehaven is packed full of the Queen's Guards, sir. Uh, protests, city-state. They really only gave us a city. And they... Of in the kingdom. Okay, I'm just gonna wander away from you, that you keep talking. I just want to find some peanuts, and also talk to my friends. Elephant Yono, sir. It's great to meet you again. I was just talking to your friends here. Mercurium. Was he in the first city, Windhaven, or whatever? Have you talked to any other Makani yet? Did you know there's actually an election going on as we speak? An election? <laughs> an election? Absolutely, sir. That is how we make decisions on political issues here in Freehaven. We vote on every single question, and every single Makani has one vote to start with. On top of that, your vote can have higher priority if you are an expert in some area, and count for less if the question concerns something you are not familiar with or do not care particularly about. It is a massively complex system, but when it comes down to it, it's really just a matter of calculating and managing a large amount of data. The Hegemonicon is a huge calculating machine who works tirelessly day and night to sort out the opinions on every Makani in Freehaven. But the Hegemonicon is a Makani as well. What if it tampers with the results in favor of its own interests? Yes, indeed, ma'am. That is... <laughs> yes, indeed, ma'am. There we have hit on the core of the issue. The Hegemonicon is supposed to be incorruptible, sir, and perfectly honest. And personally, I still believe it is. Paying political favors is not part of its internal design. And we machines are not nearly as blinded by our... Not nearly as easily blinded by our desires as the humans. No offense, ma'am. But right now, the Makani stand on the threshold of our biggest decision in history, and the decision has to be made in complete secrecy. We are deciding on revolting against Nightingale City and fight for the freedom. Uh, again. Uh, just strange uses of English. We are deciding on revolting against Nightingale City and fight for the freedom of Freehaven. And fighting for the freedom of Freehaven would make more sense. Oh my, that sounds serious. Shh! Keep it down, or the Queen's Guard will hear! It is a complicated issue, too, because we are not well prepared for a war. The humans outnumber us many times over, and have all the advantage. Then, like, don't revolt. Like, prepare yourselves for war. Spend some time, get ready. Don't start revolting right now. It is very doubtful we could even survive an armed conflict, and yet there are those who say it is our only choice. There are? Yes. Aurum is their foremost champion, and he has a few followers. But it seems most Makani are still hesitant to go to war, and the Hegemonicon will probably give the verdict that there will be no violent revolution. Liberation from human subjugation must come through non-violent means. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. But, but we just saw Aurum entering the Manufactoria factory, didn't we? Indeed, and that is what worries me. Deep down in the Manufactoria is where the Hegemonicon resides. Has Aurum gone down there to meet with the he Hegemonicon? Has Aurum realized that most Makani do not want a war, and decided to try and persuade the incorruptible Hegemonicon to present a result that differs from the actual elections? Can the Hegemonicon stand fast against such an illegal coup? You gotta go down there and stop this, Yono! Oh dear, you gotta stop the vote. It's time for an insurrection. It's widespread voter tampering. 
Uh, how am I supposed to know what, what, okay. The way Oram sees things, a violent resolution is the only way for us Makani to ever be free. I mean, it's been 286 years and you're still not free. Like, he may have a point. When the rest of the people hesitate, it is the duty of a champion to push events in the direction they need to go, even if it is uncomfortable. Even if it means tampering with the Hegemonicon, perhaps even destroy it. Oren will do whatever it takes to free the Makani. Is he supposed to be a bad guy? Because it sounds like he's a good guy. But what if Oren is wrong? A war with the humans would be devastating for the Makani. So he's not wrong, you're just worried that he's too eager. It's my mom they're gonna revolt against. The queen is a bit of a stick in the mud, but you have no idea how powerful she is, how much military force she can muster. The Makani do not stand a chance if they attack. For once, I might agree with Kai that we shouldn't rush headfirst into trouble. <laughs> yep. The monks have always preached on violence, and so has all the previous elephants, Yono. I absolutely think you should care for the Makani, but I do not think war is the solution. You've got to stop this and find another way. I mean, it seems like the Queen's ready to go to war with you guys just because she thinks you kidnapped her daughter, so... I don't know. This is your underground Makani report network. The Makani and Freehaven are preparing for a secret vote. The issue, a war for liberations against the humans. The Hegemonicon, deep down in the Manifactoria, is counting votes as we speak. Keep this message away from the Queen's Guard at all costs. Feel free to tune in any time you want an update or a reminder on what's going on right now. Uh, no, I don't need to be here. Choo-choo. Um, okay. Oh, and there's a barber. Let's have a look at what skins. We probably don't have enough money to... Oh. Buy a new one just yet. What can I do for you today, good sir? Barber bought 2,000. Ooh, a tin man? Uh, oh, a felt one? There's a link one. Elephant Menace. Oh, wow. They really weren't afraid of uh, getting quite uh, borderline with some of these designs. Oh, yeah, look at that. Vintage flowers. Okay, so really just the Tin Man one. Looks interesting. Oh, I didn't notice that he's got like little... I don't know what to call them, like fleshy colored bits. This side and back. Where's some peanuts? And I recognize this guy. <gasps> Hello again, Yono. Did you hear? I'm doing the same voice for as Khan. Uh, uh, what's a good voice for this guy? I don't remember what his original voice was. Hello again, Yono. Did you hear? I got an apprenticeship in the Makani Railroad Engineering Crew. Oh, good for you. You were so interested in the trains. I'm going to learn how to maintain and expand the railway system and become an engineer when I grow up. <gasps> hey. Anything to say? Oh, there's the health exchange. So, where's this go? No way. Okay. I have only three. No, oh, can't get those. Okay. Ah, peanuts. Why is there a chicken over there? Why did the chicken end up? Did I just kill that chicken? Oh. Did not mean to do that. I meant to pop the balloon. Oh, it's that guy. You again? Oh no, wait, he had the, uh, he had the, because he's got a hay, so he's... You again? Is my son up to no good in Nathangale City while I'm here doing business with the stingy robots? Hey! Freehaven. Freehaven is most of all a trading port, and I have a ship full of metallic ore to squeeze some profit out of. Hey! Freehaven. Oh yeah, okay, that's, 
Same line again. I don't know what all these rovers are for or what they do. Oh, a bone white in the sand. The Makani have accomplished so much in an astonishing short time. All this work around the clock. Tick tock, tick tock. All this progress. But progress is not aimed towards anything, just away from the past. It has no direction. The humans and Makani alike live quick, short lives and always skipping to the next step with no direction except away. What will happen when people like this acquire the technological capabilities to destroy the world? Technological capability to destroy the world. A drawn out war of attrition against ever dwindling natural resources or one all-consuming fire engulfing us all. Or perhaps an industrial age of wonder where everyone can be safe and happy? Who can tell? Progress without any more direction. Who can say where it will lead? Okay, how do I hit this thing? Ah! Oh, but I can still grab that coin. Oh, and there's lots of boats hanging around. Is there anything to do with these boats? Or are they just like decoration? Oh, I got a crab friend. I've got crabs. Oh, I wonder if I can pick up the... Oh. Crab friend. We got water over there, but what would I need water for? Oh, a bucket. <laughs> Existential excavator. Um, let's think. Uh, what's a good voice? Existence precedes essence. That is what some wise humans claim. By essence, they mean something like the blueprint of a creation. The idea and design behind that thing. You could call it the category something belongs to. So, if existence precedes essence, that means something has to exist before it can be put into a category. There is no purpose for which the thing was created. Rather, the purpose has to be found or invented after the creation has taken place. And it might be true that there is no purpose to humans, that they are born into radical freedom and have to shape their own essence. But what about us Makani? Many of us robots are clearly built with a purpose in mind. I, for, ex for instance, am an excavator machine built for digging. So in many cases, our essence existed before we did. And when we are constructing new Makani today, we tend to avoid giving them a design that is clearly meant to fulfill a specific role. We like to build general all-purpose Makani instead of cleaning bots and transportation devices. That way, they are not built for any one particular task and are free to do whatever they want, which seems like a good thing. But maybe that is not the most ethical thing to do after all. Is it liberating to lack a specified purpose or paralyzing? We build all-purpose Makani to give them freedom of choice, but are we in fact only granting them the gift of existential dread? That's, uh, that's pretty deep, man. Can I destroy this sandcastle? Aw, that's disappointing. I really thought I'd be able to wash that sandcastle away. Maybe upset the excavator. What's in here? Uh, hello? Hello? Don't look quite like the other Makani I've met. Hello, I am a proto makani built by human hands hundreds of years ago. I lived through the singularity, and now I'm happy in free haven. Fascinating. You must have seen a lot of the world. How do you like free haven? Hello, I am a proto makani built by human hands hundreds of years ago. I lived through the singularity, and now I'm happy in free haven. You... you can't really talk, can you? Hello, I am a proto makani built by human hands hundreds of years ago. I lived through the singularity, and now I'm happy in Freehaven. Very good. 
Well, I'll see you around. Very good. I kind of want to keep talking to him to see if like, he, he changes or does something or... Crab friend, rolling around with my crab friend. What's in here? Oh, health tokens, can I get them? Ah, welcome sir. Ever wondered where all the health tokens you've been finding come from? We make them right here in Freehaven. I'm what you perhaps call a blacksmith, and I make new ones all the time to meet the overwhelming demand. Well, not at the moment, of course, since my anvil is missing. But I would if I could. Yes, sir, I would. Until I can get my anvil back, sir, health token production is completely stymied. Oh. Bye, crab friend. At least crabs can sw swim, I think. Well, they can't swim, but they can survive underwater, right? Hi, chicken. Oh, did I just get killed by that elevator? Okay. I uh, better watch out for that. Ah, goddamn. Oh, but that's enough for, um... What's making that cuckoo noise? Why is this house sideways? Oh, that's the theme song. And an 8-bit. Welcome. You can defeat me in a little game. You'll win 50 coins. The first one to get more than 3 points is the winner. Let's play. Okay. Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay, that, that's better. No, you're gonna be kidding me. There's gotta be more to- oh, okay. If I move it, paddle while bouncing it. That's how I do an angle. Oh. If the paddle's still- There we go. Okay, this is pretty hard, actually. Yeah, it's really weird. You gotta be moving at a velocity to get an angle shot. The reward is 50 coins. Do I get 50 coins every time I play win this game? Okay, so I could just infinitely farm money here. I don't know that I'd want to. That seems to be the secret to try and... Ah, that was my bad. There we go. Yep, I'm earning 50 more coins. Okay. Yeah, we'll just keep going forever. I guess it's kind of easy because once you, if you hit it straight, he'll just hit it straight back at you. So you get time to set up your shot. Oh. 
Oh boy. Okay, he'll just keep giving me 50 coins every time I play and win him. Okay, at least we ha now have uh, enough money for a new skin. Let's go over to that barber shop. Uh, where is it? Up here, yeah. Uh, yep, get the tin heart one. Makes. That's so weird. Why is it that color? What color? What is that supposed to be? It looks so fleshy. Ugh, I hate it. Look at that fleshy tail. Ugh. Okay, we need to get that anvil down, so we need peanuts. Fleshy little butt. Okay, I think I saw that. Yeah, there's the anvil. Got it. Yep, there's some more. Uh, where am I going? I think it's down here, right? No, that's the Proto Makani. So, must have been up here. Ah, uh, sir, I see you have found my anvil. Splendid. Now I can go back to manufacturing health tokens according to my schedule. You know what, sir? I'll give you one free health token on the house as thanks for helping me out. You can tra go and trade it in at the health exchange token exchange just next door. Okay, now we got five. I think I gave him a, a female voice before and then and I just went back to my default kind of British voice. Okay, let's trade in some. Okay, is there any important ones that we've missed? Doesn't look like it. That's where we came in from. Was in this sideways house? What do we need the water for? Oh, right, this is the this place. Okay, I'll play one more game seeing as my money's so low. There we go. Uh, um, help. <laughs> this isn't good. Uh, stop that. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh, when it's that close to the edge, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what a well-designed game. <laughs> Still not sure what this water's for. Is there someone we could splash with it? Tried the sandcastle. Maybe we could try the bone white. Wait, they're robots. Maybe splashing them with water will do something. I mean, that sounds incredibly evil, but. Um, okay, so I guess we've tried to- wait, there's- oh, there's a water wheel right there! That's what that's for. Didn't notice that. 
Okay. Go all the... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Ah. Actually, what the hell is making that cuckoo noise? Is that just background music? I never figured that out. I don't see anything that making that noise. Okay, how do I aim at this thing? There we go. Where's that going? Up there. No, come back. Uh, why do you have a poison box on your side? Well, what? How did you get in here? What is this place? Well, it's certainly not a secret warehouse for stolen goods smuggled from Nightingale City. I don't know where you got that idea from, but you can't be further from the truth. What is this place? It's an art project. Yes, this is art. It's not finished, though. I'm still working on it. I'm an artist. What is this place? It's not a room filled with smuggled goods. Why would you think that? Ludicrous. What is this place? That's a secret. I can't tell you. What is this place? I admit that it may look like a smuggler's hideout, but I assure you that it is not. It is, in fact, a kitchen. And Yono is... Uh... Just the best interrogator. Uh, cooking noise. Uh, uh no, I was saying, uh, uh, cuckoo. Like a, that, like a cuckoo clock. You know, the, the clock that has the bird that comes out and makes this ringing noise? I keep hearing it in the background, and I thought maybe it was something around town, but I'm thinking it might just be... Uh, part of the background music? What is this place? How should I know? I'm blind, you know. Can't see a thing. I just wandered in here one day. I'm completely lost. What is this place? It's not a room with filled with smuggled with... Filled with smuggled goods. Why would you think such a thing? Okay, now we're looping, I think. Maybe it's some kind of simulation. How can you tell for... Uh, how can you know for sure if you... If anything is real at all? What is this place? A completely legal and proper warehouse. Everything you see in here has been accounted for, and all the taxes and tariffs paid to Nightingale City have been paid in full. Nothing suspicious here at all. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna have to... This voice is actually hurting my throat. I wasn't expecting it to. But... I don't know anything about barrels. I am completely ignorant about any elaborate Makani smuggling chain. Go ask someone else. <laughs> I really like this character. I have absolutely no idea. I came in here just a second before you arrived. I'm shocked, I tell you. Shocked. What is this place? Are you an agent from the Queen? Because if you are, I have nothing more to say. What is this place? I admit that it may look like... Okay, yeah, we had the kitchen room. We breed barrels here. We're going to create a barrel petting zoo. What place? There is no place. There are no barrels filled with smuggled goods. This is all a hallucination. You should probably see a doctor. Okay, I feel like we might have... Yeah, that sounds seems like it might be it. And another health took. So this is that smuggling operation, I guess, that we um were helping with back in uh Freehaven. Not Freehaven, uh Nightingale City. Okay, now I think we've explored everywhere. Time to go in here. Ooh, I can and in the water, why? Oh, is that teaching me that I can get water from these thingamajiggies? Ooh, we're going, we got levels going on. Now that is curious.
Ooh, who's this? Good day, Mr. Elephant. Oh, they're making pots. That explains why no one seems to be worried when I, I break them. They seem like they make quite a lot of them. Okay, nothing up there. I fit under here? No. Okay, peculiar. Okay, we've got platforms, we've got... What is that? Fish shooting peanuts at? I'm not sure what I did. Oh, I did I pour water in? Ooh, I did not see that fire coming. was that noise? I don't... what? Oh, it's a snoke! Uh, where did the snoke come from the sky? Why is there a snoke in the factory? Is he getting hit by the water? Yeah, it is. I like this music, it's very playful. Okay, so if I just carefully aim it. Nice. Alright, there's a lock on button, I forget that. That's how I do it. I suppose I might as well just use these. To... Wait, can I aim? Oh, I can aim up into the sky. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I guess I can't aim at enemies with the peanuts. Okay, I guess I can't aim up into the sky. Even though I could clearly lock on. Yeah, like that. Sometimes. Okay, must just be a glitch. That's three health tokens now. I need to get this last part just for completion's sake. Um, let's. Okay, we've got multiple ways to go. Curious. Okay, we can't go this way yet. Oh, it looks like we might be missing gears. Is that what I'm looking at there? I guess we're headed off down these side paths. Ooh, magnets. That's curious. Sorry for bumping the table there. Okay, that turned the magnet off. 
this turn this magnol? Yep, it does. And then I... No, not that one. Over here. Pulses, and because this is a an anvil, this should destroy the blocks. I'm guessing. I don't know why. Is there a way to aim it properly? Oh, what is he even aiming at? Hmm. Maybe if I stand over here. Am I supposed to put the anvil there? Oh, I see. So if I... Oh. Ah, peanuts. Magical peanuts that only appear when the windmill's going. So this first gear. Uh, I don't want to drop this. Oh, and we're back at the beginning. I assume this goes there? This goes right here. Yep, there we go. Perfect fit. There are two more gears to go. A wheel seems to be missing. They're, they're cogs. Yeah, no, they're not wheels. Maybe I can find it somewhere else in the factory. Factory. Ugh. Now, now, um, now my voice is getting all prickly. Hang on, I'm gonna take another drink. Didn't go down here, I don't think. I don't really need to uh, break those pots, do I? I don't think I do. No, maybe I do. Because apparently I can't go forward. Oh yeah, brought the door down. Don't know why. There's no possible way. This balloon's connected to any kind of mechanism. But it's best not to question such things. Okay, so I feel like I, it's taught me that in this part I need to pop all the balloons. Like, it feels like that's what it's been trying to teach me. 
I wonder if that means I should pop all the balloons in uh, Freehaven. Does it seem like... It? I wonder why there were like all those things floating over the water that like you couldn't collect. If you pop them. Like why put... Ah! Okay. I guess that those crates must be for going back. Okay, what's the purpose of all this? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a, one of these kind of things. That was kind of fun. Wait, why is this here? I'm gonna platform gonna land there? Ah! That fire didn't have any warm up whatsoever. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, there's like one frame of. blow before it starts. There's the gear. Ah, oh, it's for going back. Yep, there we go. I can aim at from here? No, not really. Huh? Oh, it's for getting the key. Oh my god, I gotta run back through all of that? Okay. I guess I should time it a little better. I didn't know that platform was going to move. Oh, now I've got to get the peanuts, which I don't have. Because... Oh, okay. Assholes. Okay. Now let's go home. Oh. <laughs> go home. I mean, get out of here. This goes right here. Okay, one last gear to go. Which must be in here. Okay, we've got poison snokes, ice cubes, and explosives. 
Interesting. Okay, there's no... So I need to... Hmm. Oh, but first I need to explode these, don't I? Uh. Ah, I didn't mean to go through the goddamn exit. Please tell me that. Oh my god. These freaking doors. Okay. Now we should be good to go. I can't just throw an explosive into the snow hole? No, I can't. Okay. Hey, big hattie. That time you got here. Uh, and please tell me I did not just fuck up. I just fucked up. Wait, does that mean... You were busy wanking. I don't know if I'll accept that excuse. I mean, you could have been wanking while watching my stream. You know? It's possible to multitask. Yeah. Exactly. Plenty of people wank while listening to me do stupid silly voices in an elephant game. It's just a natural thing to do. <laughs> well, I accept your apology, Hattie. You know, Meganay's been here this entire time, wanking, so... You know, you've just been a little bit more thoughtful. What does this do? Oh, okay, so we need to put the ice cube there. Got an empty crate, which means what? Okay, what happens if I push the ice block into it? Fuck all, okay. this here. I should do everything. Uh, except I can't push the... Fuck. Okay, I didn't think that through. this crate over yeah and then I can push the ice cube there then I can't move anything without moving the ice cube can I well, I'm obviously doing this in the wrong spot 
right, let's reset everything and think about this. Yeah, okay, if I push it there, and I can push it over there. Yeah, then I can just push this here. I can just... Why can't I push that there? Okay. Whatever. Do what you want to do. Oh, and I've locked the goddamn ice in anyway, so it doesn't... Goddamn matter. Okay, reset. Let's tr do that first bit again. I feel like we were on the right track with that. So how has your day been, Hattie? And Megan, eh? How, how have your days been? Also, how do I sound? You sound okay, right? So... I don't want to push this. should do it. An eventful? Oh, you got archery practice later. For those not in the know, you do... Is it traditional Japanese archery? Where you hold the bow up, like, up above your head, basically? And you also wear those cool, um... chest guards? You do that? Those are cool. Hudo, with the huge bows. The chess cards are for women, though. Ah, That sucks. I thought... Oh, you got a phone call. I was just asking how your day's been, Addy. This goes right there. And we're through. And uh, Megan A was telling me about uh, the Japanese archery that he does. Day's been oh boy, why is this okay? Jesus Christ. Oh boy, what the fuck? Factory's on fire. Oh no, a fire has broken out in the factory. Quick, grab some water and help out. Uh this doesn't seem like my problem. I'm gonna leave. Felt a bit off the wall, but overall decent. It's been a hot one here, and I've got a headache. Just from it being slightly warmer than usual. Yeah. I swear to God, this alarm better turn off once I get all the support. Thank you. Okay. You did a swell job putting out that fire, sir. Yeah, you didn't do fucking anything. You're supposed to be a firefighter robot, but you just stood there and screamed. It took this mechanical elephant to do anything. I think it got up to like 28, 29, so it wasn't like super hot here. But like, I don't know, I guess it was just enough to... Um, Get me dehydrated. Oh, can I, st I can stand on water? 
I guess Yona really is the messiah. I mean, I assume that my headache is because of the heat, because, I mean, that's the only thing that was really different today. Nope, that was stupid. Ah. Okay. So if I bring this down, move this onto the elevator. Hey, Mr. Necro. I mean, you know, I... It, when I say 28, 29, you know, I mean, that's if you were, like, staying outside in the sun. You know, it was okay enough inside. Uh, what am I doing? I am shooting peanuts. Okay. So the question now is, why did I do that? Oh, to mount the ice. Hmm. What does this button do? Ah. Ah. Uh. How do I get that block of. Oh, I move it like this. Thirteen degrees feels pretty cold to me, but. Yeah, I guess just push it sideways till I reach that edge. Oh, but I can't push it sideways from there. I'll have to push it from here. Okay, see ya, Megan A. Thanks for stopping by. Why do I have a water wheel here? What's that for? Does that do anything? It was wonderful to have your company, Megan, eh? I guess the water wheel's already spinning, so it doesn't really need to. Negative 35 to 35 plus. Jesus Christ, really? That's pretty uh, extreme. You know direction i didn't know that places could be that uneven you know i, I assume that like places that got to like negative 35 would be still pretty cold uh, in the summers it's like living in a desert basically seeing those kind of temperature extremes hmm okay so i want near that door. Okay, we've got anvil in an... Oh, I see. So I want to... Okay, that's fire. That's magnet. I push this here. Jump over here. Huh? Oh, now I can pick it up. Thirty-four zero, as in, is that supposed to be decimal point, or is that supposed to be the low for the day? That it went from a high of thirty-four to a low of th zero degrees. I find unlikely, so I'm assuming that's supposed to be a decimal point. 
The hell just broke. Jesus Christ, look at this place. Goddamn death trap. Okay, we've got explosive plants. Do I need to explode anything? Not that I can see. Uh, what I need. Okay, magnets. Yes, I need that key. So I need to. See, what do I need to do? How do I. Can't get through the fire. And I need water. And I could. Yeah, that doesn't do fuck all. What am I missing? Oh, if I turn the magnet on, then use the explosive thing to fling it. It'll pluck it out of the air, won't it? Oh, that wasn't a good shot. But the, the theory sound. Uh... Oh, I almost blew up that little robot. No. Oh, the aiming in this. Terrible. There we go, that looks good. There we go. Now we're talking. Get out of there. Yono, Yono, get out of there. Oh, far out. Okay, oh, now we push the water sideways. Wow. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, okay. Is that gonna go away? There we go. has locked it its autumn has locked itself okay right i guess they're gentlest they're robots autumn has locked itself in together with hegemonicon and placed a giant proto mechani automaton to guard the path what are we going to do okay i guess we were uh right to be worried about autumn interfering with the hegemonicon These are what was breaking. So if I push this one first, and I can push this one sideways, now we can up here. Yay! Oh, and it, I've got four. That's another health point done. It sounds like it might be time for another boss. Oh boy. I was not expecting a. Uh, Robot dog. Okay, it seems to be interested in the, the ball. Oh boy, is it gonna throw that? Okay, yeah. Ow. 
Do I need to get the dog to hurt itself? Whoa! Ow! Ow! Asshole dog. Please don't freak out. Oh. It's scary. I don't like it. <laughs> there, go into the spikes. No, it didn't work. Ow. Do I throw it up here? Will that help? Oh. What the hell am I doing? Ugh. What happens if I let it boil over? You're gonna explode? Oh, crank its tail? Okay, I'll try. Uh, its tail's too high up. Ah, that hurts. No, what the hell am I doing here? Please don't shoot me. Ugh. I feel like the spikes are supposed to do something, but... I'll just make it leap at me. Is it going to do anything? Maybe the steam, if I do the, maybe if I get it to, oh, 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 okay, huh, what? Okay, they made a button appear over there, so when it gets all steamy, throw it to him? Okay, okay, the jumping is making it do shit. Don't hit me! Ah! Okay, this is peculiar. Okay. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't stop. It's like right in the middle of the area. Hang on, can I make it come over here a bit? Yeah, there it goes. That's a bit, a little bit easier to dodge. I didn't jump. Why didn't it jump? while I was turning. I might actually die here. Ah, missed. Oh. Ah. Stupid frickin' dog. Go over into the corner. There we go, that's better. Ah, oh, don't walk forward, you bastard. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, okay. I guess we didn't have to fight the dog. 
I suppose that makes sense. Why would they make it a dog if they expected us to kill it? But... Okay, that was... Listen, Aurum. You know I can't tinker with the results of a free election. That would undermine our entire political system. Here we go. Stop the steal. Our political system is already a farce. Whatever decision we make, the human queen can veto it with the wave of a hand. But what could I do, Aurum? Give the verdict that starts the revolution? Would that really guarantee freedom? Hit your monocon! Oh, <laughs> hang on, now I completely forgot um, and I'm supposed to. Hit your monocon! Be careful what you do here. We can't let Aurum bully you into glitching the system. Elephant Yono, I would ask that you keep out of this si Ugh, I don't want to call you sir, but I can't even stop myself. It's so deeply rooted in our eternal design that we're doing that we're all doing it without even thinking. This is the invisible hand under which all Makani's spirit is held in place. I hate having to, like, editorialize and add words um, there where they should be. This is the invisible hand under which all Makani spirit held in place. Spirit held in place? A sir here. Oh, wait, no, I've gotten the voices mixed up. Or, a sir here, a madam there. And each time we say it, we reiterate and reinforce our lowly status. And yet we insist on calling our city Freehaven. Our hit city or city. And yet we insist on calling our city Freehaven. Insist on calling our city Freehaven. Iber 3? Oh, Little Big Adventure. LBA 3. <laughs> uh. Freehaven is not free. It cannot be when the Queen has a guard posted on every corner. In every corner? On every corner. But violence is not the answer, is it? It never is. Never is? Look, whatever you may think of me, I do not want to lead us into a war. I don't want to see my friends be smashed into scrap metal on the battlefield, my allies smelted into alloys. But I will do it. I will be there. I will lead the vanguard and be the first to fall to human cannon fire. And you know why? Because there is no other way. There cannot be. There is no scenario in which the strong and powerful would willing capitul willingly capitulate their power and get nothing in return. You can run your calculations on that. Corruption and greed is not a melody which you can heal. The only way is to tear down and build anew from scratch. Either way, though, cheating is not the answer, is it? I honestly don't know what to believe in this question. I cannot predict the future, nor see clearly how to handle this situation. But I do know one thing. The answer is not mine to give, and neither is it yours, Orem, sir. Finding the right course of action is not easy, but tampering with the vote to force a, a specific result is not the right course. The fundamental assumption of this Makani regime is that the hegemon, hegemonicon remains incorruptible. And if you introduce a bug to the system, even for a good cause, what then will you have left to fight for? Hm. I have made up my mind. I will take your opinion into account, Aurum. Given your background and expertise, your opinion even has a very high priority in this case. But your view will be put alongside those of the rest of the Makani population. And with all the data computed, the result is clear. There will be no war. Fine, let us all become like the Bone Whites, rotting in their graves, peaceful and active and forever stepped upon. I have presented the final results. Now leave me. Oh, and I guess we left. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah, okay. Um, where are our friends? <gasps> yep. Hey! This just in, the Hegemonicon has presented the results of the vote. After some issues with election fraud, the final verdict is this. The Makani will not go to war. Feel free to tune in any time you want an update or reminder on what's going on right now. Okay. Oh, there's... Oh, Sindara's got her... Oh, she looks... Kind of pretty with her hair like that. Oh, and is Kai wearing glasses? Why is he wearing glasses? Is... <laughs> why, why does she sound older now? 
Another crisis averted, Yono. We'll figure out some other way to fix the Makani's plight. Don't worry. And look who we found when you were down there. This is Captain Cuprum. He can open the gate to Woolly Mountain for us. Why do we want to go to Woolly Mountain? You know that big stone slab in the temple with a painting of Elephant Agra? That was found on a dig site on Woolly Mountain. <laughs> oh, so now we're going to try and learn more about the elephants of the past. Try and figure out what we should do. I've seen Freehaven now, and I've seen Kai try so hard to stand up for peace and justice. I want to help too. <laughs> I heard the news, Yono. There will be no violent uprising. Orem is standing down at the beach, looking glum. But didn't get its... It didn't get its war, but you have given it something to think about, at least. I helped prevent a war, but it would have been a war of liberation. Doesn't that put me on the side of the oppressors? I don't know, Yono. I don't know. I suppose that will depend on... That will depend of... I suppose that will depend on how the future plays out. If you want to explore the snowy peaks of Woolly Mountain, you could talk to Captain Cuprum here. Hello, are you Captain Cuprum? Yes, sir, I am, sir. I've been laying low for a while to avoid getting drawn into a brewing conflict, but now the coast seems to be clear, sir. Do you want to go up to Woolly Mountain, sir? Let me open the gate for you. The mountain path begins in Acorn Woods, just out of the Sunder Garden. I'll meet you there. See you in Acorn Woods, near the Sacred Cemetery, sir. You can travel there wherever, whatever route you want. Many of us robots are clearly built with a purpose in mind. I, for instance, am an excavator machine built for digging. So in many cases, our existence, uh, our essence existed before we did. When we were constructing new Bakani today, we tend to avoid giving them a design that is clearly meant to fulfill a specific role. We like to build general all-purpose Makani instead of cleaning bots and transportation devices. That way, they are not built for any one particular task and are free to do whatever they want. Which seems like a good thing. But maybe that is not the most ethical thing after all. Yeah, we've already talked to the existential excavator. A drawn out war. Yeah, we talked to you already about all this. Hey! Yeah, okay, I guess we're all good here. Elephant Yono, I've had some time to think over my actions, and I want to tell you that I am happy you stopped me from tampering with the Hegemonicon. The liberation of all the Makani will come, but we cannot rush into it w before we are ready. Apology accepted, and I promise you, Orum, sir, to try my best and find a way to handle this. I will speak with the humans and see what I can accomplish. It's good to see that the elephants take the side of all sentient beings of the realm, and that you are not here just to bless the humans. Okay, where is... Ah, health token exchange. There we go. Look at that giant health bar. Uh, where's the trains? Oh, over here. Might as well head straight to the Sunder Garden. Uh, Sunder Garden, Sunder Garden, Sunder Garden. I believe this is it. Yeah, Sunder Garden. This just in, Eleven Yonon and Companion have been spotted planning a climb up snowy Woolly Mountain. The mountain path begins in Acorn Woods, very near the Sunder Garden. Feel free to tune in any time. I think it was up here, wasn't it? Yes, here we go. Oh, Cuprum, you always look so uh, excited. 
the elephant cycle goes back for millennia, to long before humans lived in cities. Agra, the All Mother, is the first elephant we know about, and her stories have been kept alive since the Stone Age. Her stories have been kept alive since the Stone Age? Wait, the monks back at the temple said that all stories about, uh, Agra had been forgotten. Scholars believe she lived on Woolly Mountain, or at least that the stone monument up there has something to do with her. You, Elephant Yono, are part of a cosmic cycle that is so much bigger than anything we can imagine. <laughs> the elephant cycle goes back for millennia. Oh, yeah, that's... We already read this. <laughs> <laughs> she's definitely laughing in a deeper voice now. It's like she's... Is, is this supposed to be taking place over, like, quite a long period of time? Is, is Sundara, sp Sundara supposed to be growing up or something? Brr, I can already feel the cold from here. I can't believe people used to live up on the mountain ages ago. There's supposed to be some archaeological remains up there from the Stone Age, but you'll have to ask Kai about that. <laughs> okay, cut from. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, oh no, he says, hello, hello, sir. Hello, sir. You've come to climb the Woolly Mountain, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, it's really hard to read. Uh, yes, sir. Indeed, sir. This way. Step right up. Okay, it's kind of like a, um, uh, a carny barker. Allow me to open this here gate for you. The peaks of Woolly Mountain are very cold, so be careful out there, sir. Very cold, sir. Alright, let's roll. Jalapenos? Feeling cold? Help yourself to some hot fire peppers to keep you warm. Oh, I can shoot them. Oh, whoa, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the table there. Okay, so now I can carry fire around. Fuck these fire. Fire. Well, I gotta burn everyone that I see. It's the elephant way. Not all just molecules bouncing around. Hmm. Is that a health token in there? Yeah, it is. I'll pick that up first, then respawn it. Okay, and now to get sliding. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Oh, I'm not sure if I, uh... I mean, I, I did read your comments before, so... But I'm not sure if I, uh... Actually acknowledged that, uh, you arrived, Sno Soupy Doorman. Nice to see you. And how is, uh, your days going, Mr. Necro and Soupy Doorman? I've already asked Hattie. How his day's been? Maybe I shouldn't be melting that. Alright, let's respawn. Yeah. yeah. I shouldn't melt that. Okay, now I can grab some peanuts. Oh, but then I need to... Is that gonna keep going? Okay. There we go. Okay, we got chests up there. On ice. Which we can put in that hole. The ice up there. What is it? Hmm. And 
I fucked up. Hmm. That was a fuck up. Hmm. Okay, I think I was on the right path. that down there. Oh, maybe I was supposed to let it grow first. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. One last shot. I think this is the one. Push you over there. You over there. How am I supposed to push you after that? Okay, maybe this isn't the one. Ah, okay, I got them the wrong way around. Okay, so this is definitely the last attempt. Oh wait, what? What? No. What? No. No, no, no. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Do I have to reload a save? Oh my god. I think the puzzle's solved because I dropped the block into the hole, but I, it's the wrong block. Oh my god. Real? Maybe I can just bring some jalapenos from the previous level. If I can't, I'm gonna have to reload a save. Can't bring jalapenos, so... What the fuck? What is this? Oh my god. Okay, now this is the first actual... Okay, latest save was in Woolly Mountain. There's a prior autosave. Oh, it... Save there. Okay, so this is where we first entered Woolly Mountain. So now I've got to redo all these goddamn pu- ah, You've got to be kidding me. Okay, this is the first time that the game's actually gotten that bad. Like, it hasn't been a good game, really, but it hasn't been straight up incompetent like this before.
let's do a manual save. Right here. Just to be perfectly certain. We get this right. And I've gotten this wrong. I am very dim-witted. How am I supposed to do this? I don't want to push that in there. Pushing this over there. Locks me in, okay? Ah, here we go. Finally. Can't believe that they programmed it like that. We're gonna have to be more careful from now on. Okay. Weirdly open space. Oh, that was scarier than I thought. I knew something was going to happen, but that was scary. train station just in time I think we'll call it a stream here yes I think we will oh thank you everyone for showing up oh this is warm and cozy and oh, we don't have a robot here either we may be end uh, entering the final stages of this game it's hard to tell I don't know how much much this game actually has in store for us but, but that is the final final place yeah Woolly Mountain bring us to a stop here uh let's just do one little safety save i'm a goop you're just in time to uh for me to say goodbye unfortunately but it is wonderful for you to stop by okay now let's switch on over to uh just chatting um so yeah thanks to uh megan a mr necro hattie uh soupy doorman and my goop work lurking ah well thank you for that um so oh i've got a new um i got a new schedule thingy down in the doobly doo down below i did the whole streamlabs uh, extension thing so now it's much easier to see when i stream and what time that will be for you locally uh yeah uh next stream on friday uh i'm not doing full guys fridays i'm doing something a bit more scary a little bit freaky a bit of a freaky friday uh, for Halloween, I'm going to be doing a scary game. I'm leaning towards Dead Space. No promises, but I'm leaning towards d doing uh, Dead Space. Um, won't be the first time I've been through it, but it's been many, 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 many years since I've played it. Uh, so that should be interesting. So anyway, let's have a look-see around and see who is online that we can raid. So yeah, same time Friday. Uh... We might be doing Dead Space. 
But if not, we definitely will be doing something uh, spooky. And it looks like only Archie's online. And he seems to be playing Drug Dealer Simulator. Oh yeah, it looks like he might just be starting. Yeah, he's only been on for a minute. So let's go over there. Uh, control C. That's not the right thing. Uh, okay, so let's do slash raid. Raid's created, yep. And that looks like it's for the right uh, person. So thanks everyone for um, stopping by and listening to me make stupid voices over this elephant game. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you Friday. If not, uh, there's also always... Uh, how do I do a shout out? Shout out. Uh, uh, check out Narf. She streams uh, same time as me, but on Sundays. Um, uh, or failing that, I'll see you next Wednesday for some more uh, Yono and the Celestial Elephants. Uh, and now... Let us go raid Archie and just say hi and um, yeah. <laughs>